some years ago we made this Enderman farm with floppy. It only uses three subchunks and its spawning floor is at the very top block of a subchunk. Not to raise the height map, we had to use sunlight transparent blocks for downwards acceleration circuit and the actual roof of the farm to catch spawning attempts is below the farm. Ever since that project I was slightly obsessed with sunlight transparency, since it's clearly a useful but not widely used mechanic. Today in particular I will talk about history of sunlight transparent flying machines, it will give you practical ideas where it can be used and of course will show you some new tech that will become part of your toolbox. Flying machines made from sunlight transparent blocks are sometimes called daylight transparent or light updateless. The second option is technically not correct because any flying machine under a roof or in the nether or end will be light updateless. Uh, also note that everything that I will show you today is only sunlight transparent before 1.14 update since Mojang made pistons opaq 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 <laughs> what what Weirdly, very first flying machines were technically sunlight transparent. Yes, piston worms are not really a flying machine, but as I explained in my incremental flying machine video, they can be classified as manual activation flying machines. I tried making Cobras in Minecraft Beta 1.8, and as you can see, we can even add extensions, but sadly, we always need a floor. Maybe someone smarter than me can figure out a way to push rail on cobras without floor, but I think we have a bigger chance finding a weird release or a snapshot where rails don't need support block. Then we will be able to build sunlight transparent cobras before the Minecraft 1.5 redstone update. Actually, Natureon just messaged me saying that if you 1 tick or 0 tick a rail in 1.9 pre-release 4 or some close versions to it, they will float. So yes, yeah, that's great. I think we are a bit closer to actual Cobras in old versions of the game, but sadly still not quite there, because if you update it, it will pop off. He has a very interesting channel, by the way, if you're interested in all in old versions. People didn't really pay attention to Sunlight Transparent Engines until one day Comet released a missile defense system using Sunlight Detectors. YouTube user by the name Rachel Machine came up with an idea to pull it using sunlight transparent engine. This gave a little boost in development in this field. Sometime later Twitch Coder made a toy design, but that used modern day rail mechanics, so it wasn't really made for all the versions. Lucas also made a 6 gb ticks per cycle engine, and that's about it. I also showed an incremental engine in my earlier video and also made this slow design for 4x4x4, slowest machine challenge that I posted last December and I still need to make video about what blocks are we working with exactly. Well, we need to find blocks that can be pushed and also have an opacity of zero. Block Properties Encyclopedia website helped me find all such blocks and here they are. I turned off smooth lighting so you'll be able to see in case I'm lying to you. So most useful blocks for us are obviously slime and pistons and uh, detector rail, but uh, all rails are sunlight transparent. Uh, next we have very useful blocks, that's blocks with solid surface, so we can place rails on them, and that's the extended uh, upper facing pistons, and also extended versions. Interestingly, yeah, it will not push the rail. This will come in handy later. Uh, next we have gravity affected blocks, that's anvils and dragon eggs. And uh, then we have full cubes, and that's only glass. Uh, and next we have some like interesting kit boxes that will also come in useful later. I also placed here some more blocks that are technically not movable, but we can still easily obtain them on a flying machine, and that's vines, uh, snow layers, uh, lava, we can move it with a bucket, and we can technically move fire, although it will be really hard without netherrack, but we can like set vines on fire and move fire that way. Uh, technically also mushrooms are movable, Although, I don't think they can grow on either pistons or slime, so, yeah, not sure about that. Next we have blocks that have opacity of 3, 
that's uh, water, ice and frosted ice. Uh, obviously it's not exactly opacity of one, as you can see they cast shadow, although depending on your task maybe that will fit you. Alright, now let's look at extensions. So in new versions it's really easy to push a rail, you can just place it anywhere and as, soon as, as long as it's connected to slime it will move. However in older versions there are two main ways to do it. So first extension is to just make sure that the update order is correct and the slime block is arriving before the rail so this way rail will never realize that it was floating so here is a way to do it and here is another way to do it you don't win in a distance so they are similar uh, and the next way to do it is to zero tick block under the rail and this way it will also arrive before the rail always so yeah here we don't need to worry about update order really and this extension is actually one block longer uh, so it's really useful yeah and uh, here interesting uh, thing is that uh, the extending piston arm is slightly pushing the minecart forward so you don't need a wall like over here and it will always stay slightly on this block but in case you can't have a piston facing this direction you can also uh, have piston facing some other direction like here and or here uh, and obviously now it's not going to push the minecart and we need to push the minecart with a block like this so yes it's always sometimes useful let's demonstrate how it works yep now let's look at pulling extensions uh, so the simplest one is to just uh, flip this piston to a sticky piston and it will work perfectly very useful one and uh, also a very useful one is uh, to do it like classical pulling extensions from uh, Minecraft 1.8 slimestone so yeah we just power this piston and immediately remove its power source so it also works. Next we have diagonal extensions. Uh, spoiler alert, I didn't manage to make a diagonal uh, sunlight transparent engine, but extensions are possible. So let's try it out. Yep, and it also moves in the other direction. Uh, next we have two-way extensions uh, so yeah I did manage to make a two-way engine and uh, those extensions can be used on that engine so first one is this one also pretty classical for 1.8 slimestone and now let's push it from the other side Yep, uh, this one is not really useful because uh, it's at push limit, however I managed to make it under push limit just by rearranging it a bit. Now let me show you some useful circuits. So first one is a clock and you can easily move it just by first moving the slime and then moving the piston. So your next one is a way to propagate a signal. And we can also sort of emulate an observer by doing this. Alright, next we have a bot chain. I also used it in one machine that I will show you later. Now something to keep in mind is that uh, slime conducts power, so we get quasi powered pistons over here and if we use normal piston it doesn't conduct power so we don't get power over here that's also sometimes useful 
So now let's look at more complicated extensions. First one is an instant retraction based sideways extension. So yeah, here I have a incremental manual update engine. Yeah, and we can attach anything we want to those slime blocks. Now we can also have an instant forward extension, although sadly it also goes to the side. But yeah, it pushes at the same time. Also retraction based. Uh, same for instant upwards extension. Let's look at it. So yeah, and instant downwards extension. Yeah, now let me show you how to move that bad line. It's actually really easy. That's the one I showed before, but the slime now attached like this and not and not like this. So yeah, now it's really easy to move. Uh, however, it's five blocks tellable, and the instant wire uh, instance extension that I designed is uh, three blocks tellable. So the whole thing is fifteen blocks tellable, but it works out good enough. And yeah, you can trigger the whole line. Now let's finally look at engines. So first is the one I already showed. Just an incremental one way. And here I have an incremental two way. So here it flies to that side. If we want to switch sides, we can trigger this sticky piston and now it will fly to the other side. Uh, later we have just basic caterpillar engine, but uh, with sunlight transparency. So let's activate it. Uh, here is an engine that I already showed, the 6 game tick one. And now I think that I'm kind of proud of that it works is this two-way. Let's trigger it. So as you can see here and here we have an extra piston. And the reason is that we have a stick piston here. So the machine flies that direction. Uh, but when we want to fly it in the other direction, we want it to be a normal piston. So everything that the station does is just switches those two and those two pistons. And uh, this way it reverses direction. I scrapped it really fast, didn't really bother about redstone, but in theory you can even make it daylight transparent and you can also make it movable. So we can get a free way movement from side to side and sideways <laughs> again. So yeah, let's trigger it. Next we have player controlled engine. It's really bad because I designed it early in my uh, journey into sunlight transparent engines, but it still works. So here we sit in a minecart and move to the side. Start moving. And to stop it, we just have to move to the side. And that's it. So that's a concept originally showed by Pi in his pretty old video by now. But yeah, it's cool that we can do it with only minecarts too. So now let's look at vertical engines. First one is upwards. It's actually pretty complicated to move rails upwards, so I had to use uh, zero ticking everywhere. Actually, oops.
now it should work so yeah I had the zero tick rails so it's really ugly looking but works now downwards engine it's contrary to upwards it's really easy to move rails downwards it's really hard to mess this up however here you can see I used an interesting trick I already showed it earlier but here is when I discovered it so I can't have slime here because minecart will get pulled down I had to have some non-sticky daylight transparent block that you can place rails on on top and that's when I realized that upwards facing pistons are a perfect candidate for that so yeah let's activate it somehow yeah and here on top I use something like an observer that's the trick I showed you over there so yeah cool stuff you can also slow the engines down using this old style caterpillar engine chain so yeah you can choose any speed you want just by adding more chain units to it and I forgot the micro here Now, where this is useful? Well, first of all, it may be less laggy in some machinery that operates on high altitudes and moves a lot of blocks. I made this sunlight transparent mouses in homage to Brown Swan, although my design uses quite a few minecarts, so maybe you don't win in terms of performance. Cool extension, though. Here I couldn't use slime, so I managed to make it work with pulling extension and an upwards facing piston. If you remember, dragon eggs are also sunlight transparent, so I decided to design an egg dropper like the one showed by circumcision. <laughs> this is really log friendly since literally the whole thing is transparent. I used pistons for floor because they are faster to mine than glass, but you can use anything from the pellet I showed earlier. Sadly, this is one way, so machine can only be used to drop one layer. Second use may come from mob farming. Since it doesn't raise height map, you can use the way engine as a sweeper for the top floor of a stray slash husk farm or a friendly spider farm, in case that's what you're doing. It can also come in handy in a portal based farm for portal caching. Just need to change one of those cards to chest minecart and suck items out. Third use is for anarchy servers. First of all, sunlight transparent blocks don't render on a map. This includes some map display mods too, so you can build a stealthy flying base. Also, they don't trigger light update detectors, so you can fly over them without any problems. I made this daylight transparent 12 thick shield buster based on an idea sent to me by Pingo. This slime block will push zombie forward onto the detect rail. <coughs> Fuck! Uh, pistons gonna extend, then Zombie will try to pass fine towards the villager and he will ride off from this rail. Same for this zombie. Let's see it in action. I didn't bother attaching an actual daylight transparent engine, but that works as a proof of concept. So yeah, let's push a couple more blocks. Yeah, now, about problems. This is not really a legit 12 thick shield buster since I have this piston facing upwards. So he needs to be able to push upwards. So sadly, this is only 12 high wall starting from this piston. Uh, I tried to make it work without that, but sadly, skill issue. Maybe if I waste a bit more time, I would manage to make it. It's definitely possible. I mean, I'm really close to it. Also, another problem is fast finding of zombies. After this machine leaves the wall on the other side, you need a wall of glass on this level. And that is because uh, 
once we exit the wall and we will have glass over here and zombie will no longer try to pass find to the villager this way but instead he will try to pass find by jumping on top of this piston so he will no longer ride in that direction but now in that direction so yeah anyway it's a cool idea with the zombies maybe this can be also used for a wall pusher where you don't really need to worry about slime going to the sides so it should be way more compact uh, anyways next thing is just a missile using TNT minecarts let me demonstrate it working so yeah once this block bumps into a wall this will be able to push one more and minecarts will explode and the last thing I wanted to show you is a concept for a delayed missile uh, it uses furnace minecart so we need coal and once this minecart runs out of power going into that direction it will ride onto this detector rail and the machine will stop I didn't attach any TNT or whatever but that's up to you let's start it In conclusion, I must say that I've learned a lot while working with minecarts and rails and I encourage you to also try making something with this stage. For example, I have a pretty old project by now where I tried to make cobra based 12 block uh, shield buster and I was pretty close but never there but now I have a lot of new ideas on how to do it so maybe that's what I will do next. Uh, thanks for watching F5.